Hello everyone! In this video tutorial we're gonna learn how to animate UI element position and size change using UI tools for Unity. At first let's take a look at two use case examples that comes together with UI tools for Unity. Uh, the first one is a multi-state element and second one is UI element with position change. The multi-state element uh, implements uh, not actually the position change but uh, it uses the transparency control for different states. So we have for disabled state uh, some kind of transparency. The second case is UI element with position change. Uh, I will test it here right from the uh, editor. So for inactive position we have this. Size and position for active it's bigger and for disabled it's completely zero at uh, goes to the left bottom corner. Both use cases use uh, the UI state item component as a core one to manage states and additionally use the uh, UI state item animation component that helps to animate state change. If you're not familiar yet with uh, UI state item component, please check my previous video tutorial where we created uh, uh, state buttons using UI state item component. UI state item animation uh, works in the next way. It attaches to UI state item component, so it see the same states, and allows to define for each state additional parameters that will be used for animation. We have a animation states here and have a animation fields. But first we have uh, the main, the basic parameters for our uh, US state animation. So this is duration, this is start delay, both in seconds, and value change speed curve. It actually uh, that controls how fast we will change the first value to the uh, second value during the time. At animation fields group uh, you can choose which group of fields will be uh, input for animation. So we can uh, animate the rec transform parameters, we can animate the canvas group, so this is alpha, and uh, we can use the layout element component with to control preferred height and preferred width. For this use case, the multi-state element, we have uh, the alpha enabled. So at animation states uh, group, we have uh, all states that define for UI state item component and also enabled canvas group field. And as you, as you can see for inactive and active uh, states we have alpha defined to 1 so there is no transparency and for disabled state we have a hull transparency. There is a canvas group component attached here just to allow script to control alpha transparency. So when we have a uh, active or inactive states, we have a alpha is uh, one, and for disabled, it's changed during the animation time for one second from one to half. And when we back to a uh, different state, when we have the alpha is one. Uh, let's try again. 
So the uh, alpha transparency is changing back to one. For second case, for UI state with position change, uh, we have a uh, UI state item animation defined for a different uh, uh, group of fields. Uh, so this, there is no canvas uh, group is enabled, but uh, the rect transform field. So, uh, with help on these fields, we are allowed to control the position and size change of for current element. Just to simplify defining uh, all these rect transform fields of set min max, on core min max. Uh, there is a, a handy button set from current position. Uh, they just copy uh, the current object size and position to define to current state. As a result, when we will try to test these states, we have a uh, rect transform fields uh, changes uh, change animation from one state to another. So here is inactive, active, we have a change in the width and height, and disabled. So it's just simply switch to one values to another according to state we are trying to change. Okay, I think it's time to create something new from scratch. Just to illustrate how it's easily to create such animation using UI tools component. For example, let's say we need the UI elements that uh, will look like a line, and on user click, so the initial position could be like this, and once the user will click on it, we're gonna to expand it content to the bottom. For example, we have something interesting to display for user. Yeah. Let's rename it to spawn example. We need to yoi state item component to control states and also animation. Great. Let's use the inactive and active uh, building states. Just do not add uh, custom ones that could be uh, expanded and collapsed. And for state animation, one second duration is great. We don't need a start delay. Let's choose default while change speed curve. For animation fields, we need to select offset and anchors. And yes, the initial position yeah, is ready. Let's so it will be inactive, set from current, and for active, this one. So yeah, it should be testable from editor. Nice. And also let's add the button component here. That will simply switch the state item to active state. State item, set state, active. So once user click on it, we're gonna to expand it. Nice. So anytime if you need to change the position, you just can simply adjust new position and size, uh, set new values, and this is it. An active, active works smoothly and perfectly. 
Of course, you could combine additional animation fields together. So we could add the canvas group here just to add transparency. So we need a canvas group component. Yeah, ready. And let's define that inactive will be some kind of transparency and for active it shouldn't be transparent. So inactive, yeah, we have a small transparency when expanded. We have no transparency. Uh, there is a great documentation available on the site for the state animation component. There's, there's a lot of parameters, examples, definite uh, animation curve speed change, and also the API. This is it. It's really fun to create and maintain animations in such way. I hope you love it. Thanks for watching. Visit our plugin page. Uh, send your questions uh, here in comments, in video comments, and by email. Until next time, cheers!